This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back. So in this video, the left hand needs some love and I need to take care of this. <laughs> so I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I walked over to my acrylic wall of inspiration. <laughs> Kiara Sky sent over a couple jars of their new collection. It's an all-in-one dip powder. It could be used with the dip powder system or with liquid monomer to do the acrylic application. So I am kind of curious on how that works. So I I am going to be swatching these the design that i want to do i need a lime green so i'm going to see if i can use this kiara sky dip powder if you guys are interested in my nail room setup the hubby and i just uploaded a new video to our vlog channel kind of showing you guys the first setup of the nail room and the items that we got um, the shelving and all that good stuff so if you guys are interested i will leave the link down below so these are the powders as i stated they are all-in-one dip powder the jars are two ounces which you get a lot of product with these these are just some of the colors that you know they only send a few so <laughs> but this is a texture shot it kind of looks like finely milled acrylic which is typical of dip powder so I'm gonna be swatching these out and this green here, as I said it before, is just a regular dip powder. The monomer I'm gonna use today is Mia Secret. As you guys know, if you follow the vlog, that I am pregnant and this monomer is the only one that doesn't really bother me. The other ones seem to be way too smelly and I just can't stand it. So of course I still wear a mask, but this one, I can tolerate the smell much better. So this first color here is called Sugar High. This one is Prom Queen. This one is No Red Grits. And this one is Fun and Flirty. So they do kind of work, you know, the same as regular acrylic. And this one is that green dip powder that I was trying to use. But as you guys can see, when I use it with monomer, the pigment kind of separates and you kind of get this marbly look. So I can't use this for what I want. So I'm gonna switch over to the Glam and Glitz acrylic and this one is Citrus Kick. So these are my natural nails. And as always, I'm gonna do some prep. First by pushing back my cuticles and then using the opposite end to scrape up any of that dead skin. Next, I'm gonna take my e-file and the cuticle clean bit and I'm just gonna work this around the cuticle area to further get up any of that dead skin. And I will leave links to everything that I use down below. Next, I'm gonna trim my nails because I do not like for my natural nails to show through. And then smooth the edges. So I have my nail tips all picked out. I'm gonna use this Kiss Brush on Nail Glue to apply them. Once I have all the nail tips on, I'm just gonna use my scissors to kinda cut the sides to help me with the shaping. So I am going for a different shape today. I decided to go for a stiletto. So after getting those shaped, I'm gonna take the shine away from the tip and also blend it in with my nail. And I just like to rub it just to make sure that it's nice and smooth and you can't feel any transitions. So this is after getting the tips filed and prepped. I have the Kiara Sky Dip Starter Kit here and I'm gonna be using steps one, two, and three from this kit. They sell them separately, but you know, if you get the kit, you have everything you need to start out. So I'm just gonna take these out of the kit and I'm gonna start with the bond, which is the step one and I'm gonna apply this to all of my nails. This is a nail dehydrator. It gets rid of all the oils and prepares your nails for the dip application. So I'm gonna use this powder. This one is fun and flirty. And once again, I just wanna show you guys the color. It is an extreme hot pink. So I was so excited to try this out. So I'm gonna go in with the base next, which is the step two. And I'm just going to start off with a strip down the center, dip that into the powder, tap it off. And after about five seconds, I brush off the excess. 
and that is the first step and I am just going to repeat this process slowly building up the nail with each layer I'm just going to get closer and closer to the cuticle area until I finally reach it and this is what's going to give me a nice curved nail it's not going to be super flat and kind of have dips in it like some dip nails can turn out if you just do it all in one layer So what I like about the Kiera Sky Dip Powder is that it is so finely milled that you cannot see the grains and stuff in it when you are doing dip powder nails. And when it's time to file, it just files like any other nail. So you don't run into any gooey spots or anything like that. Another thing I like about the Kiera Sky Dip set is that the base is a thicker consistency so it doesn't run all over the place and you're not going to flood the cuticle because it kind of stays where you put it. So this is what the nail is looking like and as you guys can see it's not super duper flat. So I went in with one more layer just to get that cuticle area tight. I just want everything to kind of look seamless. Yeah, I like how this one turned out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dust off the excess. And as you guys can see, that cuticle area looks really, really good. <laughs> I'm just gonna repeat this for the other nails. I did the dip process on the pinky nail, middle fingernail, and the thumb. So this is after doing the dip on all of the nails that I wanted to and I'm going to go in with the step three which is the seal protect or the activator. It's basically what dries the glue and hardens everything up. So I apply that and you want to wait for about five minutes. But in the meantime I'm going to move on and do the acrylic application on the other two nails and I'm going to use the Mia Secret nail prep and the Mia Secret Primer. I really like these. They seem to work very well. I haven't experienced any lifting with it and they are pretty affordable. So I'm starting off with that fun and flirty powder and I'm just gonna do some 3D hearts. I'm going for like a encapsulated design here. So um, it's starting off with these 3D hearts. <laughs> but as you guys can see, um, it does work pretty well with monomer. Um, I did that heart pretty high up because I am going to be putting acrylic over it and filing down to expose the heart designs. So I'm just going to repeat the same process with that citrus color and create a heart as well. And I did a one last pink heart on the tip there. So I just wanna show you guys how high I built those hearts up. Next, I'm gonna do an ombre nail. So I'm starting off with the citrus color and I'm placing that at the tip. And just going in with a smaller bead just to get that blend right. So next I'm going to go in with that fun and flirty all-in-one powder and trying to do a ombre. And I don't know if it was me. Um, I'm kind of rusty with my acrylic application because I haven't done much of it. But I really didn't like this ombre all that much. But I was determined to make it work. So I kind of added some more green just to bring some life back to the tip. <laughs> oh, I hated this ombre, you guys. 
So then I'm going in with the Mia Secret cover beige because that has become one of my favorite covers. It's really pretty, especially when I'm using like pinks and stuff. I don't want to use a pink base cover because it just all just looks pink. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going in with that and trying to do some, some ombre. Like, I don't know. I, I just really didn't like how this ombre turned out. But after applying that cover beige, I did go in with more of the pink just to, you know, make the blend a little better. Um, and I still did not like it. So when I don't like something, I cover it up, okay? <laughs> so I'm going in with some Kiara Sky glitter. And that made me feel so much better. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry. And then I'm taking the cover beige and I'm just gonna go over this nail and fill in all of the gaps. I know this looks really crazy right now, but trust me, this is gonna be so cute. <laughs> But yeah, I definitely need to do more acrylic videos because I have no idea what was wrong with my my application. Like I am rusty. All right, so after doing that, I'm going back to the ombre nail and I'm just gonna encapsulate it with the Glam & Glitz Clear Acrylic, just so when I get to shaping and filing, I won't file off this beautiful glitter. Man, glitter for the win, okay? Cause it saved this ugly ombre. <laughs> So this is after the acrylic has been laid and dipped. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my shaping and filing. Once I did the shaping and filing with the hand file, I'm gonna go in with my e-file and my smooth top bit. And this is also from Kiara Sky. And I am just going to e-file and expose the hearts that I was telling y'all about that was gonna be so cute. <laughs> and then as always, I like to work around the cuticle area just to smooth that out and make that transition nice and flush. So after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed, I have to go in again with the Seal Protect on the dip nails. And this is after you file and shape, um, just to make sure that there aren't any exposed areas. You wanna make sure that the nail is gonna stay hard and you're getting to all of that glue. So this is after letting the Seal Protect sit for about five minutes. And of course, I'm gonna go in with some bling. So I'm using my favorite combination of the Poochie Snails Bling Gel and Top Coat. And I start off with the Bling Gel and I'm just gonna place that where I'm placing the crystals, making sure to smooth it out as well because we don't want any lumps or anything. And then without caring, I'm going on top of that with the Top Coat and placing my crystals into the Wet Gel. Oh, I'm so happy I was able to save this ombre nail, y'all, because I was ready to take it off. <laughs> so then I go and cure for 60 seconds. And I kind of like the matte look of the pink nails, but my skin is way too oily for matte nails. Matte nails don't ever stay matte on me, so I'm a glossy girl. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply the top coat to the rest of the nails. And I just love this fiery hot pink. It is just so gorgeous. So I make sure to clean around the cuticle area before I cure. So after doing my final cure, I'm just gonna apply my cuticle oil. And here is the finished look. These nails turned out so pretty. I love this color. Oh, this was just so gorgeous. And honestly, you really can't tell which nails were dipped and which were applied the traditional acrylic way. 
<laughs> so I really, really do like that you can use the Kiara Sky All-in-One Dip Powders for whichever application that you feel comfortable with. This is a fairly new product. It's not quite available yet, but it will be soon. And I cannot wait to get my hands on more colors. So I hope this video was helpful. As soon as the products are available, I will update the links down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial and I will talk to you in the next one. This is the outro to the long hair pretty nail show, yeah.